I saw this map today and it's inspired me to make a little video about how to grab this map and convert it to USD and display it in Omniverse all using Mindways. So let's first download this map. And that's easy enough. It's nice the author put it up for free, which is always nice. And so, okay, we've got this thing and now what I'm going to do is put it in my saves directory where I have lots of other maps, but this is now the latest one that I'm going to put there. So now that's in there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is actually go get Mineways and uh, just show how that process goes. It should be pretty straightforward, but you know, why not? Let's just do it real quick. So I'm grabbing Mineways right now. Uh, it's got a lot to it. If you don't have a really, uh, if you don't want to download all this junk, you can also use the minimal version. Um, but the big version comes with a bunch of extra textures and resource packs, basically. So let's, uh, anyway, let's just show how that goes. I'm going to put everything into C temp. You can put it wherever you like. And that's that. And then I go to, uh, to C temp. And in there I should see yeah, let's, uh, whoops, <laughs> and I get some weird thing. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, okay, I tried to go back, and yeah, that, that was silly. Uh, so anyway, let's let's just look here. So here it is, it's uh, Mineways, start it up, and I go look for the world. Do, 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 do. There's Royal Albert Hall. So I just grab it, and I'll export it. And so the, the key thing here is, uh, let's see, for one, I've got to call, you know, I'm going to do USDA file format, which is just a human readable version. Um, let's just call it Ra, Royal Albert Hall. And there, now it's going to uh, bring up this dialog, which is pretty scary looking, but really the only thing you want to consider doing is, oh, I just remembered something I didn't do. <laughs> um, what I'm now going to do is assign a cool texture to it. And so this is uh, the JG RTX textures. There's a high res 1, 256, 64 is usually fine. Um, anyway, so now I've done that, and now I'm going to try exporting again for reals. Okay, so raw looks good. And the one thing I'm going to do out here is unclick that custom material. Um, what custom material does is basically, if you have a uh, if you are just exporting regular Minecraft, um, you have these very small textures that are 16 by 16. And uh, if you want those to look blocky, you have to use that custom material setting. Um, but if you're using one of these more high res uh, texture packs, you don't really need to have custom settings sent, set at all. And so um, by unchecking it, basically you get a smoother result. So you get these high res textures that are smoothly interpolated and all the rest. Uh, so what's going on here anyway is um, it's getting exported and these uh, there's REH materials and well you can see there's an REH USDA file that's getting created uh, and there's a materials directory and uh, in a few seconds that'll get populated by all the uh, all the cool stuff um, but let's uh, yeah in fact let's just take a quick look at Mineways if you look at these materials files uh, what you've got is basically a bunch of these high res uh, textures in color um, the other thing that you've got is a, uh, a bunch of other textures that enhance the uh, the rendering. So this is an emission one, shows what things are lit, so you can guess what block that is that's lit. Um, this is a metallic one, shows what's shiny. Uh, this is a normal maps one, shows you where bumps are. Um, and then this is a roughness map. So anyway, uh, so we've exported at this point, and this is the little dialogue I get. And so, so I'm all set. I should have now a file. If I go back here, I can go look and I can go see that it's indeed exported a whole bunch of uh, texture files, um, but just the textures I need. It doesn't try to export everything just to save space and time. So anyway, now I'm back up here and uh, I can close this down. Now I'm done with Mineways. And what I'm going to do is go look at uh, this this guy, which is Omniverse. And so this is called Omniverse Create. Um, again, it's free. All you do is you drag and drop the uh, USDA file into Omnis Omniverse. And uh, I had nothing to start with, so I say, no, I don't want to save what, what was there, which was nothing. And so now it's loading it up. And you can see it's uh, it's now in there. And what I do to navigate is I right click and I hit W. 
and you can see I'm going very slowly so one thing you can do is change the navigation speed to be something more reasonable so here's a W and you can also see there's you know shift key I can move faster so if I go this and shift I'll move even faster so now I'm you know nice and close or whatever and uh, let's see so all I'm doing right like I say is uh, right click and then WASD um, you can also use E to go up and Q to go down so let's go down a little bit well, that's a little too low so I press E to get back up and you know here I am like okay sort of a reasonable view um, one thing I'll say is let's see uh, yeah what I'll talk about next oh let's talk about the camera so the camera this I can now go away from I go to properties camera and the interesting one here is this focal length um, focal length has a meaning in like you know the film industry uh, to the rest of us basically if you lower this thing you get a wider field of view and, and that's kind of all you need to know um, the other thing you can do is adjust the Sun uh, the Sun is sort of just at an arbitrary spot and you can rotate it around the Y axis Y is up so if I uh, if I click on Y I should be able to yeah there we go if I click and drag I can move the Sun around and so you know I can get something nice and with some shadows and whatnot and uh, and that that looks pretty good let's let's just do, do a little more adjustment here because I like to get I want to go into these textures close up because it is cool to see how these textures are actually you know pretty detailed and whatnot um, but anyway so there's there's a view and uh, maybe I say okay yeah I kind of like that as my um, as my screenshot that I want to take a picture of. So what I can do at this point is uh, just hit F10 and I'll get a screenshot. I do want to show one other thing that you can do which is um, in Edit Preferences. If you go to Preferences you can go to Capture Screenshot and where you, what you can do there is basically say the path you want to save it to and you also probably want to have this box clicked which just says capture only the 3d viewport like I don't want to capture any of this other stuff like all these little lines and all that kind of stuff I just want the 3d view so anyway all that's done all that's set so now what I can do is hit F10 and I should get inside here a, uh, a screenshot and indeed that's uh, that's what I get the the other thing that's going on here is that um, well that's that's really about it for the tutorial the other thing is though you can also mess with the camera's exposure so here I'm inside the building there's no actual lights built or inside this building the, the building is actually pretty empty inside um, but you know if you wanted to render it what you could do is uh, start to play with tone mapping tone mapping is this thing under render settings and it's basically camera exposure and I think this interface is going to change but who knows um, but in the meantime what I can do is change this interface so what I'm going to do is I hit control I hold down the control key and I click here and then I can type one and that gives me a uh, you know a uh, an ability to change the camera sh shutter um, I can also play with the f-stop and bring the uh, the light you know I can basically make the exposure all that much better and so what you can do is you can you know play with these numbers and you can see that it's you know it, it gives you a better result basically <laughs> um, I can crank this up so you know this is actually all from light just percolating in through a few small holes uh, so this is actually a full bowl and ray trace which is why it takes you know a bunch of iterations to get something reasonable because it's trying to sample these tiny little bits of light coming in um, but that's anyway a kind of thing you can do is go play with the exposure and uh, you know once you feel like yeah that's a fine shot you can hit F10 again it'll show up in your uh, you know in your directory and you know there it is and so that's it I hope you enjoy it um, everything you've seen in this video is free to free to download and use so uh, have at it enjoy bye